back. First things first, if you hear water coming from upstairs, um, my neighbor seems to only need to take a bath or wash his dishes or do anything with water the second that I press record. So my sincerest apologies if you can hear that. Second of all, I want to say a huge thank you to Aura for being the sponsor of today's video. I'll talk about them more in a bit, but I just wanted to say thank you to them. Third, I've made myself a matcha because I know that what I'm about to do is going to take every last ounce of energy that I have in me. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Jasmine. She just did a video like this where she tried on everything in her closet and decluttered and reorganized everything. And I was in inspired. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, my closet is not unorganized or cluttered or anything. I just know that I have so many clothes in there that I don't wear because I just want to have clothes that flatter me and that I genuinely wear often. I don't know. I have a lot of clothes that I just have in there that are never worn, but I keep anyways for whatever reason. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be going through my closets. This is the current closet situation. This is my half of the closet. My boyfriend takes up the other half. We have a closet in our other bedroom too with hoodies and jackets and coats and whatnot. I will not be going through that because I think one closet is enough for me today. And I know that I will not have the energy. Basically my plan is to try on a lot of my clothes. There are some things that I will absolutely not be trying on including probably most of my t-shirts and also leggings because First of all, leggings are just a pain to put on. Like, I'm not gonna do that. And t-shirts, most of them I have just to go to sleep in. Like, I don't actually wear the t-shirts anywhere. So those, I'll just go through by looking at them. I don't know, okay? I'm gonna put this down. But anyways, yeah, my... Anyways, my goal today is to just be left with clothes that I know I look good in. I just feel like a lot of my clothes, I, I like the piece of clothing itself, but the second it's on me, it just doesn't work. So I want to just have clothes that flatter me and that I know that I like and that I'm going to wear for a long time. I also have a ton of clothes on my wish list. I probably will not buy them today, but I'll show you guys what's on my current wish list. I've just been looking to expand my wardrobe a little bit. I haven't bought myself clothes in such a long time. And I feel like it's because when I was in high school, I would just buy whatever I liked without thinking about it, kind of. And most of those clothes I don't have anymore. So I'd rather think about something that I want to buy for a really long time to make sure that I actually want it, you know? So we'll go through those. Everything on my wish list I have wanted for months. Let's get started. Like I mentioned earlier, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Aura. I don't know if you guys have ever Google searched your name or any other information, but there's a lot of stuff that pops up on the internet that you probably didn't even know was out there. As somebody who has a lot of their personal information online, it's very easy to find information about myself by simply looking up my name. Don't go looking up my information after this, but by doing a quick Google search of my name or my family's name, like there is a lot of information out there whether it's my school, my emails, any other data that can somehow be online is online. So that is super scary and data brokers with all of that information will sell it. With Aura they'll show you which data brokers are selling your information and they'll automatically submit an opt-out request for that information to be taken off. It also shows me which websites specifically have leaked my email or have information that just shouldn't be public or that I didn't mean to make public. You'd be surprised at the amount of times that your data has been either stolen or found and sold. So with Aura, it'll protect you from hackers and also getting any of your information stolen. I personally have gotten my information stolen. It's not very fun to wake up to a notification that your credit card information is being used somewhere. Um, with Aura, they'll protect me from that and also from getting my information stolen in the future. Aura also has some other features including antivirus, VPN, identity theft insurance, and password management. And that all is in one app, which makes it really, really easy to use. And it's also a very affordable price which is nice so if you're not already using something to protect that information or if you want an affordable way to protect this information I highly recommend Aura you can use my link it's aura.com slash summer and you can get a two-week free trial yeah it's been very helpful especially like I said as somebody who does have a lot of information online I would like to know that it is being protected and with Aura it's able to be protected but thank you again to them for being the sponsor of today's video I really appreciate it I value my privacy a lot and I also value your guys's so aura.com slash summer for a two-week free trial. I'll put like my dream style up on the screen right now. This is like, these are all outfits that I have pinned on my Pinterest that 
I just love. They're pretty simple, but also very cute. And I feel like I've yet to achieve like a, a personal style. I feel like I just, I just throw on whatever I see first and that's how it's done. I think my plan for all of this stuff is just going to be to try everything on. I'm gonna make a couple of different piles. Number one, the first pile is gonna be everything that I'm keeping. I'll probably make a pile for donations or to sell and then a pile that I can get tailored. My boyfriend recently got a couple pairs of jeans tailored and they didn't really fit him at first they were really long and then he got them tailored and they're perfect which is that's obviously like that's what tailoring clothes is but i've never thought to tailor my clothes and that's such a good idea because i have so many clothes that i love and they just fit me a little bit weird so if i'm able to get them tailored i'm just gonna do that so i'm gonna make a tailored tailored to get tailored pile as well i think i'm gonna start with pants this is my little pants organizer i honestly love the way that my closet is organized right now i feel like i did a good job at Keeping it nice. This thing is from Amazon. It's just like a wire, whatever you call it. Let's start with pants. I don't really know the best angle to be for pants. Probably a little bit lower. I have these shorts on. These are just what I'm wearing today. I know for a fact I'm going to keep these. These are probably my favorite jean shorts in the entire world. I feel like there's not very many jean shorts that I like. But these ones just fit me perfectly. They're the perfect length for me. And I love them. These are from Gap. These are a keep. This is the next pair of jean shorts that I have. These ones are definitely a lot shorter. These ones are from Garage. I do really like these ones still. I feel like the wash and everything looks nice. The only thing that I am noticing about these is they're a little tight on the waist but not too tight to the point where I think I need to get rid of them yet. So I think when it's hotter out, I'll definitely wear these. I don't know how much longer these ones will last though, but for now, these are gonna be a keep. All right, these shorts, I actually thrifted and these used to be pants, but I cut them. I am gonna keep these just because I love the length, I love the color. I don't know if these are super flattering on me, but I feel like that's just my lack of confidence. Unless they do look bad on me, then please comment down below and I will get rid of them. They're different than my typical jean short. These are also a keep. All right, these next ones I have to hold up. These were my boyfriends. They're jorts. You kind of can't even see. I might need to move you a little bit lower. Yeah, these were my boyfriends. They don't really fit me unless I hold them up. So these, I would definitely need like a belt. I could, however, get them tailored. But do I look good in jorts? I'm not quite sure. I do like the color of them. Sorry, I need to just like stare at myself for a second. I feel like, I feel like if they were a little bit shorter and the waist fit me, then they would be perfect. Do I look ugly in jorts? I don't know if it's worth it to tailor these. It's hard to tell if I would like them. I really do like the color though. I'm gonna put them in a maybe pile. I know I didn't talk about doing a maybe pile, but I'm gonna put them in a maybe pile because I don't know yet. I have another pair of jorts that don't really fit me. I got these off of Depop. I saw a picture on Pinterest. I'll put the exact one that I saw on Pinterest. And I was inspired to get these. I do like them. <laughs> I feel insecure in these. I'm like, don't look at me. But they're a bit, not even a bit, they're a lot too big. And I don't know if these can be saved. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if I should keep these or not. I kind of think yes. I'm being so honest though. If they're ugly, like, please tell me. You can be honest with me. But don't hurt my feelings, okay? Are these ugly? Yes or no? How is this? Can you see my pants? These are my favorite jeans in the entire world. I didn't even need to try these on. These are from PacSun. They're low-waisted. I honestly don't ever wear any other pair of pants. This next pair of pants is from Brandy Melville. These little things are kind of messed up. This one is way tighter than this one, but if I tighten this one, then this side is way too cinched. So the waist of these is kind of weird. And also the zipper kind of always falls down. I find myself having to pull the zipper up multiple times a day when I wear these. But I do like the color. I like the fit, but this is really, really throwing me off. If anyone knows how to fix these thingies, let me know. These are from Urban Outfitters. I don't wear these a ton. They need to be steamed. These pockets are not looking great. They're a little bit long on me, but nothing that a little cuff of the pants can't fix, although that does give me a wedgie. I don't know, these are comfortable, but they definitely need to be steamed. I'm doing kind of a bad job at getting rid of things. Whoa, what the? What a weird fall I just had. I do genuinely like all of the pants that I've tried on, with the exception of some that just fit a little bit weird, but nothing that a shoelace or some tailoring can't fix. I've got like nine more pairs of pants to try on. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. These pants are a keep. I think I've had these for a little bit more than three years. I love these. They're from Garage. They're so comfortable. They go with so many clothes. First of all, these pants look awful on me because they're too big, okay? I know. I wear these to work, so these are going to have to be a keep. I'll usually just put a shoelace through here and then tuck them over like this, and it works perfectly. These pants, I think I for sure wanna get tailored. These are also Dickies. They are 
quite large on me but i want it to be a little bit higher up on my waist i think like here they're also very long i don't know if you can see my feet but i think a little bit of tailoring a little bit of a tighter waist and maybe a little bit of the length cut off would make these perfect because i love the way that like the legs of the pants fit these jeans i've also had for quite a while they're from urban outfitters i like the fit of these they fit so nicely they're comfortable and i feel like they still look good on me keep these these ones I definitely need a shoelace for. I have these stickies as well. I loved these when I first bought them, but I, no joke, have worn them one time in the year and a half that I've had them. They're very stiff. I feel like white pants are not my thing. White clothes in general are not my thing. I spill everything. So even if I did keep these and wear them, they would not last me much longer because I'm inevitably going to spill something on them. So I think I'm going to sell these or donate them. I think they would look a lot better if they were a little more low-waisted and they're also way too long on me I don't know about these. I'm gonna put them in a maybe This is one of my newer purchases, but I just don't think that I can pull these jeans off. They're very low-waisted I think they're just like a little bit too low-waisted for me because when I sit down the crack is out Okay, like there is no sitting down in these jeans. These are strictly Standing jeans unless I have something that's gonna cover behind me I feel like they're not very flattering on me. They look a little weird. I don't know. I'm sad because I just bought these and I wanted to like them so bad, but I don't know. I don't think they're for me. All right, that was all of the pants. I think I ended up with three pairs that I'm getting rid of. I really do love these jeans. I just wish they didn't fit me the way that they do. That is always the hardest part for me when getting rid of clothes. It's like, I love these jeans. I hate them on me. These ones just don't work for me. These white ones as well. Everything else is a keep and then I'm getting the one pair of pants tailored. I think I said maybe to one other pair, but I honestly, I already don't remember what pair of pants that was. So we're just gonna move on. The next thing I'm trying on is all of my tank tops. I feel like these, I'm probably gonna keep most of them with the exception of like one maybe and also i'm keeping a bra on for all of these so it might look a little bit weird it's just easier for me to keep it on anyways this shirt i got from my brother's girlfriend this one's so cute i love this tank top i think this with the denim skirt would look so cute this one's a keep okay i lied to you i took it off because this shirt was just not gonna work with it on this shirt i don't really know how i feel about it i haven't worn this anywhere yet but this is what it looks like it's kind of like an asymmetrical style but the back is very cute the back is open it has like a tie I think that I would love this shirt if it was a different color. I feel like this color is not very flattering on me, but I don't know. I think this was like a black skirt, maybe. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts on this shirt. I think I'll keep it for now, but let me know what you think. I just don't know about this color on me. So be brutally honest with me. It's very similar to my skin tone and I feel like I just need a color that pops a little bit more. This tank top I'm keeping, this one's from Aritzia. It's such nice quality and it fits so well. These two tank tops are the same, so I thought I would just try on one. It makes me look tan and I'm not tan at all. It's just a comfortable tank top. These are both from Garage. I like both of these, they're very comfortable. I'm gonna keep both of these guys. I need a bra on for this one, but this one's from Brandy Melville. I love the lace, I love the blue. This tank top I've also been very conflicted about in the past mainly just because I'm growing out of my super crop top phase I wish this was longer I just hate like it's very much just tiny I also love the pattern on it I just feel very very exposed in it but I think I'm gonna keep it because I have like a little gray jacket that I like to wear and this always looks really cute with it this shirt I'm also very conflicted about but honestly I feel like after putting it on it settles it I just don't like the way that this shirt fits me I feel like there's so much missing here it's just very low color cut and I don't know if I like that. However, this shirt itself is beautiful. It's like sheer and it's got these cute little bows on the side. I'm devastated to say the least. I love this shirt. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in a maybe pile, but as for the way that it looks on me, I don't love it. I'm not in love with this shirt. Most of those tank tops I am keeping with the exception of this one and this one. Let me know your guys' thoughts on both of these. I'm gonna keep them in a maybe pile for now, but most likely I will not keep them. So some of this stuff I know for a fact I'm keeping, like the t-shirt, this one, yes. All of these baby tees, this. 
conflicted. This is from Aritzia. It's a black bodysuit. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot wear bodysuits. This is the most uncomfortable thing I have ever owned. Every single time that I've worn this, I've had to unbutton the, the bodysuit part and just like tuck it into my pants because I can't stand it. I also, this one's getting kind of a weird texture on it after washing it. I don't ever find myself reaching for this shirt, which sucks because this was not cheap. And it's cute, it's cute on the hanger, and I love it. I love the material of it, but it just, it's so uncomfortable to the point where I just never ever reach for it. Oh, this is so hard for no reason because I love this shirt, but just not on me and it's uncomfortable. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. It's very comfortable, but I don't really like the way it fits me. It's kind of hard to find something to wear with this just because it does have the open little like slits right here. So you can't really wear like a normal bra with it, but also I don't like the way that this looks without support there. Although I do like the way that this looks underneath the overalls. So do I keep something that I would only wear in a very specific outfit. I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I know that I won't wear it any other time unless it's underneath the overalls. I wear these two shirts underneath my work shirts when it's cold. This one's just from Brandy Melville and this one is... I got this one on Threada. This one's also very hard to wear just because the the cut of it is really hard. It's really hard to wear a bra with it, but again, same type of shirt where it looks weird without a little bit of support. So this one I'll probably just keep to wear under my work shirt. The other one I do like though, and I'm gonna keep all of these. Ugh. This shirt I forgot to try on, but this is from PacSun. Now, let me tell you, this is probably one of my favorite shirts in the entire world. There's this little plastic thing, this little thing right here. And for some reason, it makes it so unbelievably painful to wear. It just stabs me. Unless I can figure out how to get that to not stab me, I might have to say goodbye to this shirt because every single time I've worn this shirt, I'm in like pain, but it's kind of worth it because this shirt, this shirt is so cute. This shirt is actually one that I have had for years. It's from Hollister. It's like a black off the shoulder. This shirt is one that I personally think is very flattering on me. It just looks nice. It's like the perfect length. I have these pants from Princess Polly. They're like black, like business pants, I would say. I keep these for potential job interviews. I don't know where I would ever wear these genuinely, but I feel like this is something that is just good to have in my closet because you'll never know when you need something like this. This next thing I'm absolutely keeping, I love this skirt so much. I haven't worn it a ton just because I get a little nervous to style it, okay? This is kind of the same vibe as the business pants. It's just like a like a blazer, and I don't really know where I would wear this. Every time that I reach to wear this, the second I put it on, I'm like, mmm. See, I don't know. I, I put this on and I immediately picture like a black skirt and long boots. This is so businessy for me personally. But again, I'm in the same boat where I'm like, what if one day I do need to dress this way and then I don't have something? This is also just like a nice jacket. Probably just keep it. I don't think I look bad in it. So I just think a lot of the outfits that I have pictured it with don't end up looking good. These I'm keeping, of course. These are one of my favorite things in my closet. I love these. I also, bruh, I don't know if you can see at the moment, but I have two baskets up here. One of them is workout clothes and one of them is just t-shirts that I sleep in. Like I said earlier, I will absolutely not be trying on the workout clothes because it's very tight and like, ugh. That just sounds exhausting. Oh, I just realized I have a shirt on the floor too. Keep. Compared to the amount of clothes that I used to have, this is not very much. I feel like I don't have like a wide range of clothes to choose from, which is why I also want to expand my wardrobe. Let me show you these. This is all of my t-shirts. Genuinely, I only like wear these to sleep with the exception of like a few of them. This is actually one of my favorite t-shirts in the entire world. I need to find t-shirts that fit me exactly like this one do. It fits me so perfectly. It's like almost to the point where it's like a baby tee, but not. Like it's the perfect length. It kind of just fits like the one that I have on right now, but a little bit bigger. Look at this little guy though. He's so cute. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to look through all my t-shirts because every time I do, I don't get rid of any. And the reason why is because half of them are either from my boyfriend or I just like them. I don't know. <laughs> I just have a tough time getting rid of clothes that I have an emotional attachment to and that's fine because they all fit in the basket. They're not taking up an excessive amount of space in my closet. So I don't really see the point of going through it when I know I'm not gonna get rid of them. Same thing with my workout clothes. I am convinced that one day I will work out consistently. That day has yet to come, but for when it does, I have quite the variety of workout clothes. You literally can't even see it right now, but it's up there. Okay, I'm done. That's it. I 
told you guys that I was gonna share with you my wish list. But the first thing I think I have been wanting for the longest, and it's the Adidas Sambas. I love these shoes. My boyfriend just got a pair of these shoes on eBay for $30, and I was so jealous. They look so good. I've been thinking about these for a while because I started to like them when they were super trendy. And I was like, all right, let me wait. Let me wait until the trend dies down. Let me decide if I still like them. And I still do. I still really like them. So those are one of the first things on my wish list. I also want to get some more belts. Like, I just think a belt would add so much to this. I need to up my accessory game, I think. And a brown belt. Or I guess any belt in general would do the trick. Next thing, I really want some cowboy boots, which I feel like is very out of character for me. Just the t-shirt, shorts, and cowboy boots I think always looks cute. Next thing I have also been wanting for, honestly, years of my life at this point, and I can just never find one that fits me right, and that is a denim skirt. I want it to be tiny, but not tiny enough to where I'm like uncomfortable in it, but I like mini denim skirts. I think they're so cute. I think I would genuinely wear it all the time if I had one so if you have a denim skirt from a specific place that you love please tell me where it's from because I I honestly just don't know where to get one next are more baby tees specifically from the brand pink is blue I've been following them on tiktok for a little bit and I love all of their t-shirts I think they're so cute or honestly any shirts that fit like the one that I'm wearing or the one that I showed you in my closet just more like perfectly fitting t-shirts and then the last thing I have on here is just big pants but specifically big pants that fit me well so like this pair of pants for example that I want to get tailored they are the perfect amount of big but I would love these so much more if they fit me perfectly I don't know anyways that is my current wish list this was not as exciting of a closet clean out as I thought but I did get rid of a few things that I know for a fact I don't like. So a win is a win, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you're still watching, comment down below this emoji right here. And I think that's all I've got. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.